Toshiba, the name that became synonymous with innovation, was founded by pioneers Hisashigi Tanaka and Ishizuki Fujoka. Tanaka, a brilliant self-taught engineer, and Fujoka, dubbed the father of electricity in Japan, laid the foundation for a company that would become a technological giant. In 1939, the merger of Shibora Seisakushu and Tokyo Denke led to the formation of Tokyo Shibora Denke, which only became Toshiba Corporation in 1984. Toshiba began as a beacon of electrical engineering, demonstrating its leadership by introducing the first incandescent electric lamp in Japan in 1890. Throughout the 20th century, Toshiba expanded its horizons, entering the consumer electronics, nuclear energy, and semiconductor sectors, and conducted an initial public offering of shares in 1959. This expansion enabled an increase in capital base, setting the stage for subsequent growth. In the post-war years, Toshiba faced the necessity of reconstructing its production and business. The rebuilding of post-war Japan was a tense time, but also a period of opportunities. Toshiba played an important role in the revival of the national infrastructure, rapidly restoring and expanding its production capabilities. The company actively expanded its lineup of home appliances, releasing televisions, radios, refrigerators, and washing machines, securing leading positions in both domestic and external markets. The 1970s were a dynamic period for Toshiba. The company entered the market of electronic cash registers in 1971, and later, in 1979, the printer business. These steps were key in Toshiba's path to becoming a comprehensive provider of business solutions. A breakthrough occurred in 1981 with Toshiba's wireless POS system, and in 1985, the company made history by releasing the T1100, the world's first mass-market laptop. This move reinforced Toshiba's global reputation as a technology leader. Toshiba continued its innovative developments, starting a full-scale barcode business in 1989. However, the company also faced a serious blow in 1987, with the Toshiba Kongsberg scandal, in which it was accused of violating an international embargo by selling CNC machines to the Soviet Union. This led to severe tensions between the United States and Japan and subsequent sanctions. The economic slowdown of the 1990s in Japan prompted Toshiba to strategically focus on promising sectors, reforming mature industries, and ensuring the company's resilience. By actively engaging in mergers and acquisitions, Toshiba strengthened its market presence in the field of IT, nuclear energy, and environmental management. This adaptability was critical for its diverse portfolio. In the 2000s, the company continued to be one of the leading manufacturers of electronics and electrical equipment, but also faced a number of challenges. This included losses from the failure of the HD DVD format, which Toshiba had promoted as the standard for high-quality video, but which lost out to Blu-ray, as well as serious financial issues related to its American nuclear division, Westinghouse Electric Company, which filed bankruptcy in 2017. During the transformation, Toshiba decided to sell off some of its assets to focus on more profitable and promising directions. For instance, in 2018, Toshiba completed the sale of its flash memory division, Toshiba Memory Corporation, now known as Kyoksha, to a consortium of investors for 18 billion US dollars. This transaction was a part of the efforts to recover finances after the Westinghouse losses. In the following years, Toshiba continued to explore options, including the possibility of becoming a private company, which would allow it to reorganize away from the public eye and with less pressure from quarterly reporting. The privatization of the company could also provide it with more flexibility in making strategic decisions and implementing long-term plans. Nevertheless, Toshiba remains one of the world's largest manufacturers of electronics and electrical equipment, 
offering a wide range of products from laptops to medical equipment. 